All right, so I'm going to go through the mobile client update. Um, there's been some recent, um, some, some very major changes uh, merged in this week, um, complete update of the UI components. Um, so it's, it's looking a lot different than the last time I, uh, I gave a presentation, and it would be nice to show it off. Oh, my name is Chad Pilkey, too. Uh, I work with Blindside Networks, or work for Blindside Networks. Um, yeah. So our, our goal with this client, um, if you've seen the HTML5 presentation, uh, they've got some good stuff going. They've got uh, mobile opportunities. Uh, but the big problem is still iOS, because Apple does not support or, or show any inkling of supporting uh, WebRTC, so that's pretty critical. You got to have some sort of way to get audio in and audio out, um, and then also video. Um, so hopefully, this client can fill that need uh, until Apple comes around. Hopefully, um, so this client is following the new designs. Uh, you'll see later in the screenshots, but um, it's it's looking a lot closer to the Android client. Um, and the other major goals are easy to develop and easy to maintain. Uh, we want to have as little effort as possible, and it's very easy with uh, the technologies we've chosen to get something up and running and uh, easy to use and easy to develop. So what are we using? We are using Adobe Air, Flex 4, and uh, the framework, UI framework we're using is Robot Legs 2.0. Um, but the keys are, are Adobe Air and Flex 4. Um, it's somewhat dated technology, but it works, and it's easy to develop. Um, and it's still being supported, so there's no real risk. Um, and we get to leverage all of the back end we already have and all of our knowledge on working with Flash and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah. And with this client, it's given us a unique opportunity to basically start from scratch. Uh, the current client, the current Flash client, web client, it's got a lot of history. And um, this is the, this mobile client has allowed us to sort of start fresh and refactor everything and uh, make it a little more streamlined and, and uh, easy to work with. So here is the layout of the Air Client. Um, you've got your, your UI, your mediator. It's very, very structured. It's, it's following um, the MVCS, uh, models, views, uh, contexts, or commands, and signals. Uh, anyways, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very structured. Whereas with the current client, it's sort of just all over the place. Um, and then you've also, you'll, you'll see a dotted line around part of the components. Um, that's so that it can be reused if we want to uh, down the road. Um, because if we ever wanted to update the web client, it depends on how the technologies work out, uh, timelines and all that. But it gives us an option, should it make sense down the road, uh, where we can just take what we've done for the air client, the mobile client, and uh, basically package around it and deploy it for the web which allows us to leverage all the work we're doing anyways. Um, so how far along are we? Um, we have presentation, we have whiteboard, we have chat, the users, the settings. Um, we've got a work, like we can deploy it to a phone, um, different phone profiles. It's, it's pretty far along. Um, there's still more work to be done, though, because we need to rewrite the audio handling. We need to have video handling, uh, which we can play video, um, but uh, there's some UI elements because on air you can only play one video at a time and stuff like that. There's certain restrictions that we have to work around. Um, and there's also gesture support that we have to add because it's a pretty critical component. But it's Technically, it's easy to do because it's the same 
RTMP streams that we use in the web client. It just has to be all hooked up. So here's what it looks like now. This is the this is the good stuff. Um, you can see this is the the main view. It's the presentation view. You can see I've got some whiteboard marks uh, just to show it works. You can turn on the microphone camera status. It looks very very similar if you've seen the uh, HTML5 UI. It's, it's all um, sim a lot of similarities. Same color scheme, same layout, everything. Um, and then over here, example of settings. Um, again, it looks very similar to the Android client. Uh, yeah. And then this is their participants list. Some work still to be done. You'll notice the badges on the side look a little different. Um, but it's like the, the core functionality is all there. And then we have the chat, which again, fully functional. You can type in the chat. Uh, and then you can either go back to the user list or uh, go back to the presentation. All right, it's a quick one, but um, any questions about what we're doing or why or how? Oh, yeah, interesting question. Okay, so uh, mobile, we, we, we thought about this a lot uh, on how we wanted to launch because normally with, a, with a, another system, they can control everything so they know exactly what URL is going to be launched. But we can distribute, like anybody can install Big Blue Button and run it themselves. So the, the host names change all the time. So what we've decided is to go with um, basically you change the protocol on the front end and you set it to big blue button colon slash slash instead of HTTP and then you leave the join URLs the same and um, the 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 app is set to invoke or or launch on that protocol being called um, and then it'll handle the join and processing and you'll still you can then have your front end in the browser um, and uh, have all that leverage that um, stuff that's already there because most front ends I, I think would have a mobile view already so you can just use that the, the mobile apps would have to be updated to be able to launch the or, or rewrite the URL to big blue button instead of to, to change the protocol but um that was the, the the best way we could come up with uh yes video support yeah you, you you uh we will have um sharing support and uh viewing support um not sharing desk share as far as i know i don't know how we would do that uh, or if it would make any sense, but definitely, definitely webcams. The the one restriction with um, mobile is that you can only show one video at a time on the screen. So you would we we need a selector to choose uh, what video to show, which is normally just the presenter, anyways. In the normal use case, it's the teachers talking or something like that. Or if uh, the desk share stream is being shown, then we cut the camera and show the desk share. Um, it's, it's not too bad, but it'll definitely work because it's the same RTMP streams that we have in the web client. Ah, the, the, the important question. Um, the stereotypical answer, uh, we don't release on dates, um, but it is far along. Um, we just have to make sure that, again, it's it's clean and it works. Um, 2017, yeah. Um, yeah, there's, there's issues, so, or not issues, but there's, we have to make sure, the web client is very, very solid. 
So the end user wants to know that they can get in easily, that they can get out, that they can join audio, and it all just works. So we need to make sure that we have the level of polish that we have on the main client in the mobile client. We don't want to, we don't want to have something that's half-baked or rushed out there. Um, so yeah, we're, we're still getting making sure that we get all the features in, and then we'll clean it up and make sure it's, it's uh, polished. Any other questions? Yeah, yeah, so as Felipe just pointed out, so we'll have, um, once it's ready for beta, we'll be able to uh, deploy it to the app stores, uh, iOS and Android, and then it'll be able to be tested out um, we already have a mobile demo up on the API demos uh, that shows the uh, protocol rewrite and launching it from the browser and all that stuff. We just have to get it out to people, uh, make sure we can get through the app approval process and all that stuff. And of course, there'll be a post to the uh, mailing groups um, whenever that is available. All right, I think I will cut the recording. And uh, if you have any questions, further questions, anything like that, um, feel free to post the mailing list and I'll be able to respond or somebody else. Have a nice day.